students greetings of the day this is 9th to standard social science history unit 2 ancient civilization okay simply in this lesson we are going to learn about the four ancient civilizations okay first we must know about what is mean by uh, meaning of civilization okay it means advanced organized life ancient means very old okay yes uh, in our last video we saw about the ancient civilization and the four uh, important civilization that that are egyptian civilization mesopotamian civilization uh, indus uh, civilization and chinese civilization uh, in our last video we discussed about the egyptian civilization and what is uh, mesopotamian civilization okay so what uh, what is mesopotamian civilization mesopotamia is refers to the region of iraq and kuwait in uh, west asia okay in uh, greek language meso means in between um, and badomia means the two rivers okay so mesopotamia means the land between two rivers okay what are the two rivers euphrates and tigris okay the land between euphrates and tigris that land is called mesopotamia okay so that uh, civilization is called mesopotamian civilization okay yes and um, we discuss about the uh, northern part of mesopotamia northern part of mesopotamia is known as assyria and southern part is called uh, babylonia okay and four uh, important uh, civilization in this place are sumerians uh, akkadians babylonians and assyrians we discuss about that in our last video in this video we are going to learn about the Society, state and administration of Mesopotamian civilization, food and agriculture, trade and exchange, cities and town planning, Hammurabi, Lakod and art and science uh, flourished in Mesopotamian civilization. Okay, about the society, state and administration. Society, state and administration. Okay, the society uh, of Mesopotamia mainly covered with cultivable lands okay it was also covered by temples which were controlled the priest okay the king acted as chief priest here the priest collected the taxes and the scribes maintained the accounts of the taxes okay assemblies were created for administration of the state the lands only for the kings lands only for the kings all the people were not allowed to the not allowed to live in the city okay yes uh, a typical sumerian city was surrounded by cultivable lands okay yes and um, the sumerian cities had temples the temples are called jihurets okay the sumerian cities had temples the temples are called jihurets okay yes it is the um, jihurets at its center okay the city center is called jihurets that was the temple okay the temple was controlled by priests okay yes the priests scribes and nobles were part of the government the rulers and the priests occupied uh, the top of the social hierarchy okay the rulers performed the role of the chief priest okay yes the scribes uh, and merchants and uh, maintained the accounts of the taxes the priest collected the taxes the temples acted as a storehouse of uh, taxed commodities okay cultivable lands were owned by the kings and the higher classes of the so uh, peoples okay yes the person who remained to the temples in the earlier parts of mesopotamian civilization became free from that association in the later period okay not not all the people were allowed to live in the cities do you clear yes 
the society of mesopotamia mainly covered by cultivable lands okay it was also called temples okay the temples are also called zigurates it is the center of the city the kings acted as a chief priest scribes were uh, maintained the accounts of the taxes okay is yes. uh, the land only okay the administration of the state assemblies were created for the assembly uh, administration of the state the lands only for the kings okay not all the uh, all the people were not allowed to live in the cities next we see about the food and agriculture okay agriculture uh, was the main agriculture was the main occupation of mesopotamian city they cultivated uh, wheat barley grapes apples and dates they domesticated uh, domesticated the animals uh, cattle sheep goat fish also have a main diet of the life okay and um, trade and exchange okay yes trade also considered important economic activity of mesopotamians okay the people exchange the goods which they produced by uh, artisans and potters okay they exchange their goods produced by artisans and potters they had a trade connection with syria and iran okay here actually in the society the traders can get loan from the government in the society traders can get loan from the government okay to develop their trade but at the same time they have to repay the amount okay traders can get uh, get loan from the government to improve their trade activity but at the same time they want to repay the amount okay uh, let me see once again and this government the traders get loan from the government uh, for their development but at the same time uh, they repay the amount okay cities and town planning okay the cities were developed with uh, mud or packed brick with gates okay and some of the people lived in uh, red huts outside the cities okay some of them lived in huts they were lived in outside the cities okay is yes. the zigurates were the center uh, at the city zigurates means temples temples are called zigurates in mesopotamian civilization the zigurates were at the city center on a platform and appeared like steep pyramids appeared like steep pyramids okay with staircases leading to the top staircases leading to the top around the temples were complexes of ceremonial halls uh, shrines uh, burial chambers for the priests and ceremonial banquet halls um, along with workshop granaries storehouses and administrative buildings also found here okay yes cities uh, and town planning once again i repeated the cities were developed with bricks uh, and gates some of the people were lived in red hut but they were lived in the outside of the cities okay zigurates were the center of the city it is look like steep pyramids okay uh, in the staircases leading to the top okay around the temples were complexes of ceremonial courtyards shrines and uh, burial chambers of brist okay uh, granaries workshops storehouses and administrative buildings are also around the zigurats okay next we see about the religion okay the sumerians religion was polytheism polytheism means nothing but uh, they have many gods and goddesses sumerians practiced polytheism that means many gods they worshiped several goddesses goddess okay uh, ashur was the supreme god of assyrians the king uh, kings were seen as representative of god on the earth okay kings were 
the representative of God. Let us see say about Hammurabi's law code. Hammurabi's law code. Hammurabi's code is an important legal document that specified the laws related to various crimes. Okay, it is related to 282 cases related to family rights, trade, slavery, taxes and wages okay yes hammurabi code is an important legal document okay it is specified law related to various crimes it has 282 okay how many 282 cases related to hmm, specify the family rights trade slavery and wages okay Hammurabi code is an important legal document that specified the laws related to various crimes. Okay, it has uh, it has related to 282 uh, cases related to family rights, trade, slavery, taxes and wages. Okay, next we see about the Sumerian writing system. Sumerian writing system. Uh, cuneiform is the Sumerian writing system. The shape of the letter in the form of uh, cuneiform writing system developed by the Sumerians. Okay, it was found at around uh, three thousand. Cuneiform writing system was developed by the Sumerians. It was found around three thousand BC, uh, and actually. In in the shape of the letters or the uh, form of wedges. Hence, it is called cuneiform. They used these letters in commercial interaction and transaction. Okay. And also for writing letters. Writing letters. Okay. Yes. Cuneiform is the Sumerian writing system. The shape of the letter is in uh, the form of wedges. Hence, it is called cuneiform. Uh, the, uh, the writing system was developed in 3000 BC. Okay. It is one of the earliest script in the world. Earliest script in the world. Okay. They used the script of uh, the commerce, transaction and writing letters and stories. Okay. Uh, in uh, clay tablets contain the loads of information of Sumerian civilizations. Okay. Next we see about the art. Okay. Mesopotamian art includes the sculptures in the stone and clay. Mesopotamian use two things to make sculptures. One is stone and another one is clay. Okay. Yes. Sculptures is uh, famous in this period. Actually the Greeks uh, sculptures Portray the animals like bull, uh, coats, um, bull and coats. Okay, is yes. the the figures of lions, uh, goats, bulls, and mythological figures of lions uh, and the human head have also been found in the art of Mesopotamian civilization. Massive sculptures were uh, created. Uh, in the Assyrians and Babylonian Empire. Science. The Mesopotamian excelled in science, literature, mathematics, philosophy and astronomy. They developed the concept of multiplication, division and the cubic uh, equations. Okay. The Sumerian calendar had also seen uh, in seven days in a week. Okay. They created water clock and lunar calendar based on the movement of the moon okay yes the mesopotamian excelled in uh, science mathematics astronomy and medicine okay yes the numerical system sumerian calendars have seven days in a week okay they also created the water clock uh, and the lunar calendar based on the movement of moon. Okay. They developed advanced weight and measurement. 
okay they developed advanced weight and measurement okay let me see the contribution of the mesopotamian civilization okay the invention of um, the invention of the uh, potter's wheel okay the invention of potter's wheel it was uh, credited to the sumerians they developed a calendar system of 360 days and it divided a circle in 360 units okay the cuneiform system of writing was their main contribution hammurabi's law code was another uh, important one okay they developed a calendar system of 360 days and divided 360 circle divided circle in 360 Uh, circle into 360 units okay the cuneiform writing system is most uh, important one and uh, the invention of potter's wheel um, and hammurabi's law code are the main contribution of mesopotamian civilization okay they introduced they introduced the 12 months calendar system Uh, based on lunar months okay the ideas influenced greek astronomy they had developed medicinal system as well a text called diagnostic handbook diagnostic handbook uh, dated to the 11th century bc okay yes babylon uh, listed the symptoms and uh, pregnancies okay this indicates that sacrifice understanding the herbs and minerals okay the contribution the invention of uh, potter's wheel is the main contribution of sumerian civilization and they developed the calendar system of 360 days uh, they divided circle into 360 units cuneiform system of writing was their main contribution and hammurabi's law code was another uh, legacy of mesopotamians okay is science the mesopotamian excelled in science literature mathematics philosophy and astronomy they developed the concept of multiplication division and the cubic uh, equations okay the sumerian calendar had also seen uh, in 7 days in a week okay they created water clock and lunar calendar based on the movement of the moon okay is yes. the mesopotamian excelled in uh, science mathematics astronomy and medicine okay is yes. the numerical system created the water clock uh, and the lunar calendar based on the movement of moon okay they developed advanced weight and measurement okay they developed advanced weight and measurement okay let me see the contribution of the mesopotamian civilization okay the invention of um, the invention of the uh, potter's wheel okay the invention of potter's wheel it was uh, credited to the sumerians they developed a calendar system of 360 days and it divided a circle in 360 units okay the cuneiform system of writing was their main contribution hammurabi's law code was another uh, important one okay they developed a calendar system of the, the contribution the invention of uh, potter's wheel is the main contribution of sumerian civilization and they developed the calendar system of 360 days uh, they divided circle into 360 units cuneiform system of writing was their main contribution and hammurabi's law code was another uh, legacy of mesopotamians okay civilization china has two major rivers china has two major rivers one is huangi and another one is yangtze river okay is yes. the river huangi 
was also called yellow river hawangi is also called yellow river okay yes uh, the yellow river is called saro of china okay the yellow river hawangi is called saro of china uh, why it was called as saro of china because of frequent floods okay yes yellow river is also called saro of china because of frequent floods uh, what is the reason for this the flood is came from this uh, river the people were also affected lot uh, they lost their life and property due to the uh, frequent floods of uh, flood of this river yellow river okay so uh, yellow river is also called saro of china evidence for the prehistory evidence for the prehistoric evidences are also found in peking and yanmu okay so the evidence for prehistoric the peking man and uh, you uh, yanmu man exist in china peking is the city of china so the people belong to this city okay peking is the city in the china okay so the people prehistoric people belong to this city uh, people belong to this city people exist in china prehistoric people exist in peking city okay uh, yanmu uh, yanmu is a southern state southern city in china okay evidence of prehistoric the peking man and yanmu man exist in china neolithic community lived in china okay so prehistoric people were also lived in peking and yanmu okay peking is a city in china and yanmu is also a city that is found in southern uh, southern china okay yes so prehistoric evidences are also found here okay and uh, like uh, like prehistoric evidences neolithic evidences are also found here okay yes neolithic communities lived in china okay what is neolithic community neolithic community is nothing but people lived in neolithic culture people lived in neolithic culture okay so they were also uh, so they were also neolithic peoples were also lived in china okay yes the rivers yangtes and hwangi contains the evidence for the neolithic villages okay so the rivers yangtes and hwangi contains the evidence for the neolithic villages so neolithic village found in the river banks neolithic villages found in the river banks okay yangtes and hwangi okay um, river bank in the ancient times okay china had many city states okay china had many city state and gradually these states these states gradually these states became the part of the empire okay are you clear yes china has ma many more city states gradually these all states became the part of an empire okay do you clear yes next we see about our next topic okay uh, polity and emperors our next topic is so, polity means nothing but civil government okay so civil government and emperors si huang ji who was the first founder of qin dynasty si huang ji who was the founder of qin dynasty in china during this period the emperors had the title son of heaven emperors have a title son of heaven okay he was uh, he was considered to be the first emperor in china he was the first emperor in china shi huang ti he was the first emperor in china he belongs to a qin dynasty okay so um, the emperor for, during uh, this period between 221 to 
1906 BC is called the Imperial Era of China. Okay, Imperial Era of China. Okay, so let me see what is the meaning of Imperial Era. What is the meaning of Imperial Era? Imperial Era, the period people used newspapers and coins. Okay, do you clear? What is the meaning of so now Shi Huang Ti conquered the principalities and remained till 212 BC. What is the meaning of principalities? It means the place, the place or state ruled by the king. He conquered other principal states and remained the emperor till 212 BC. He defeated the feudal lords and established a strong empire. Okay. Feudal law, feudal lords. He defeated the feudal lords. Feudal lord means land owners, land lords. Okay. Yes. And he established, he defeated the land owners, land lords, and he established a strong empire. Okay. Yes. He defeated the land lords and established a strong empire. He destroyed the valid fortifications of different states and constructed a great wall of China. Okay. So, he destroyed the valid fort fortifications of different states and he constructed a great wall of China uh, to protect the emperor from the invading of nomadic people okay he was also built a strong integrated emperor he was also built roads to inter wall fortification means wall wall tower okay wall fortification means wall tower built and protect the empire okay from the attack shi huang ti destroyed the walled fortifications and he constructed a great wall of China to protect China from the nomadic tribes. Okay. He also built roads. He also built roads, integrated the empire. Integrated means join. Okay. So he destroyed the wallet fortifications and, and built a great wall of China. So the great wall protect China from nomadic uh, people. Okay, people invaded uh, the other region. Okay, yes, and he also built, a, b joined the roads and integrated the empire. Okay, next we see about the. Let me see our next topic, Han Empire. Okay, it is the famous dynasty in China. During this period, written history of this empire available in China. Okay, Wu Ti. Wu Ti. He was the greatest emperor of Han dynasty. Wu Ti he was the greatest emperor of Han dynasty. He expanded his empire and built public amenities including tank irrigation. He sent Zhang Hai. Zhang Hai. Okay. He sent Zhang Hai as emissary to the west and it paved way for the opening of Silk Road. Okay. Encouraged the trade activities. Okay. Emissary. A person sent to somewhere with official message by the ruler. Okay. Emissary. What is the meaning of emissary? He sent Wu Ti, who was the greatest emperor in Han dynasty. He sent Zhang Hai as emissary. Uh, it paved way for opening of Silk Road. It encouraged the trade activities. Okay. What is the meaning of emissary? Emissary means a person sent to somewhere with official message by the ruler. Okay. Chinese short after by the Roman during the Roman Empire Marcus Aurelius. Marcus Aurelius was the famous Roman Empire. Some of the Chinese silk might reach Rome through the ports of Tamilagam. The next topic, philosophy and literature. 
philosophy and literature okay the chinese poets and philosophers such as uh, lotus mencius confucius moti okay contributed to the development of chinese civilization san su san su it uh, he was a military strategist strategist means nothing but one who give idea to the military organization okay san su wrote the book art of war and the spring and atom the book canon of medicine was written by allo emperors it considered earliest written book of medicine okay canon of medicine it considered as written earliest written book of medicine okay it was codified during the time of han dynasty leotus was the master of archive and the keeper of chow state he was founder of uh, taoism he was the founder of taoism he organized uh, he argued in this book taoism he argued the desire is the root cause of all the evils okay the desire is the root cause of all the evils okay yes lotus he was founder of taoism okay yes next we see about confucius confucius was the famous philosopher of china he was also a social reformer okay uh, the means of his name master confucius means master okay he insisted on the civilization one one's personal life he said a personal life is cultivated family life it is regulated and one's family life is regulated national life is regulated okay so confucius he was a famous philosopher of china he was also a social reformer Uh, the means of his name master okay he he insisted of uh, cultivation of one's personal life okay he said if personal life is cultivated family life is regulated one's family life is regulated national life is regulated okay yes next we see about mencius he was a another well known chinese philosopher he traveled uh, throughout china and offered his counsel to the rulers means yes he was also a famous philosopher of china he traveled throughout china and offered personal advices to the rulers okay so why he was also a famous ruler he was also a famous ruler okay so he give a uh, gave counsel next we see about the chinese script chinese developed a writing system for our early times okay the script was also a pictographic system okay later on it was converted into simple form okay next contribution of chinese civilization okay Uh, writing system was also improved invention of paper opening of silk road invention of gunpowder okay so the chinese civilization over okay so what is the contribution of chinese civilization invention of gunpowder opening of silk road it encouraged a trade relation throughout the world and invention of paper writing system is uh, are also developed improved in the chinese period okay yes so chinese civilization over here we read about two rivers one is havangi and another one is yellow river okay and we learn the polity and emperor we learn about the shi huangti and han empire writing system 
the famous king of han dynasty was hu ti yes chinese civilization is over now uh, in our next video we saw about the into uh, inter valley civilization okay today you are homework read out the lesson thoroughly and pronounce a new word clearly we will see the next video thank you students